Are you on yeah. here right now? They have yeah. Cause and they have some SpongeBob pictures that sold for over a million dollars a piece. Yeah. Um, they have oh. some Cause that are on here for 107 right now. And yeah. the last one sold for 1.4 million in 2020. So obviously there's a, a ton of money in artwork. I can yeah. just kind of... Hey everybody, how you doing? Welcome to YBI. We talk about opinions and strategies to grow your financials, your wealth, and yourself. This is Roman and Zion here. How you doing? Like how Chill I went up with it right when I said it at the Living, shirt. I think that you forgot that the camera only goes so high. I have to um, readjust myself. This one just fall back, you know. You know, I, there's nothing Lean on my back. wall right Lean now. Back. Hey guys, you know how y'all doing out there today? And I'm gonna start off this video by saying, like it. <laughs> Sure, let's go with got, that. Let's like it before they one. even know what we're talking about. We got an exciting um, one. It's fine. I like it. Today, we're talking about art. Uh, last week, two weeks ago, whatever, we went over NFTs. We went over um, everything that NFTs really, really need. Everything that you need to know about NFTs. Yeah. Go check that out. Um, but today, we're going to talk about art in general and um, using art as an investment tool. So um, let's do that. Yeah, I guess if a little recap is about NFT, I guess a little thing off of that about just, but the difference between like people say like, why would I want to buy a piece of art over why I would want to like own like an NFT if you own like the original thing? Because with the NFT, it's still digital. So someone still could copy and paste it and kind of, you know, still put it wherever they wanted to. Whereas, you know, with the actual piece of art, you own it like if you if you have it then like you own it no one else is going to have it like that's a one of one or whatever most of the time or you get a series of prints whatever but um like that's yours it's about the tangible yeah it's it's about the tangible like if you have an nft on the usb and you lose that it's gone versus if you know you have a piece of artwork on the wall now all of a sudden you know somebody would have to physically come into your home and steal that and that's why you have things insured Blah, blah, blah. You also um, can drag and drop NFT or drag and drop or copy and paste them. Like, you know, that one meme you saw um, is probably on how many people's phones already. They already have it um, that you can't really get any type of money for unless just by selling the original code or whatever for it through blockchain. So that that's 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 the kind of issue. Only other thing with NFTs that makes art ownership a little bit weird. Whereas, of course, if you buy a piece of art, if it grows in value, you sell it. That's just yours. Um, it is the more of a, it, well, it is definitely a longer term play. And of course, most of the times in artwork in the field, you got to know people, you got to know what's going on. You got to go to art shows, you got to go to art galleries. You have to have a, a decent amount of capital ready to make that investment. A lot of people are interested in getting into artwork, especially when it comes to hedge against like inflation or just diversifying the, their portfolios in general. But it's the barrier to entry is usually very high. Um, so I've been thinking about getting into art for multiple years. And of course, every time I looked at it, pieces of artwork were always a lot more money than what I wanted to pay for them at the time or even could afford to really do it. Because even if you do buy it, most times you're holding a piece of art for years before, you know, you might sell it. It's, it, hold, I would say at least maybe three years at the, at the very least, most people even hold it for longer before they even think about selling it. It's really just retention of value that, that grows, if, if anything. Um, so that got me looking into other means of ways to do it have you heard of a company called masterworks you know i heard about it through you really okay. yeah you told so, me about it yesterday <laughs> oh wow um so this i don't even know how i first heard about them but it, i ended up i guess probably just looking around finding how i can invest in art and i found this company called masterworks i don't know if you have seen like the the kind of like the crowdfunding platforms that have come in popping up masterworks is kind of like that but with art um where they do they register their piece of art they buy with the sec and then allows you to buy shares of those pieces of art um now you do have to like have an interview with them which i actually am scheduled for one to actually see kind of everything breaks down and kind of how to actually get into their platform so if i can do that and i can start investing with them there will be like a follow-up review for you all about how to do it but there, that's one company. They're kind of the only company I've seen that's kind of been offering that type of like, you can buy shares of artwork in this sense as of yet. I haven't seen any like companies pop up now that have as much credibility as they do. And also they're, they're kind of new as well. 
Um, so it's really just about how do you get an art and can you start doing it? Yes, if you could find an art gallery and do the research as to how on a stock and pick the right piece of art with the right artist, did you feel like they're gonna grow in value over the next three to 10 years or whatever? Bam, you can buy that piece of artwork by yourself. Or I think so companies, you, what's up? I got a question for you. You mm -hmm. um, you get to pick the art because this says that, I'm on their website now. Mm -hmm. um, it says that they find the best artists. So they find a team of people that um, find the best artists and then they purchase that art. Um, they, bet, they purchase um, the best examples of whatever art at the best price they say. And then we secure the artwork on the exchange with the SEC, allowing anyone to invest in it. And then they hold it for three to 10 years. Uh, and then they share, they sell on the secondary market. So with that, is it look just like, you know, when you're buying a stock, can you see what it is that you're purchasing and then mm -hmm. buy into that one specifically? Or is it just like you buy into a big it, pot? And if you uh, do like their kind of a crowded, crowded portfolio, group portfolio, then you buy into whatever piece of artwork that they buy and that's just whatever they kind of choose um and then at that point like usually you're kind of just trusting that their algorithms stuff kind of like wealth front or etfs or any extra traded fund in that sense you're really just trusting that the advisors have picked a good portfolio to invest in at that point um if not they do have a actual trading platform where you could just buy individual shares of individual pieces of artwork that are just posted on their on their site. So you could, as an investor, just go on there and just buy shares of random pieces of artwork that you see up there. The only issue is you just have to, you have to know the art. Like if you're not really familiar with the art world and how much art is really worth, you could be buying, I'm, I'm seeing some shares up here that's going for like, 20 bucks you know five shares for like 20 bucks but i have no idea what this artwork is or what it is i could buy it and hold it for three years and hope it goes to like 500 but you just i, I have no idea so in Do my you sense, see some of this stuff are you on yeah. here right now they have yeah. cause and they have some spongebob pictures that sold for over a million dollars a piece yeah. um they so, have some cause that are on here for 107 right now and yeah. the last one sold for 1.4 million in 2020 so Obviously, there's a, a ton of money in artwork. I can yeah. kind of, I can't screen share, oh, but I'll, I'll show this real is quick. what I'm looking at. I'll share my screen real quick. Okay. Yeah, this is uh on their trading, on their trading section. You can kind of see what has uh yeah, the cause up top. Um click on the cause one. Yeah, the first one. This is what I'm looking at. Um, just some stuff that sold for crazy money uh yep. recently. Which like so, which it does and which and they they are tracking like artwork does more or less perform better than even the stock market you know boasting out anywhere from thirty two percent to forty percent returns on most cases on some of these things, so oh I can't even create accounts to even see that, no, they don't even let me see that one, so a lot of this artwork and you could pick and be like okay I know this artwork this artist has sold artwork before for around a few million but you just don't know for sure at least I don't know for sure. Um, so I'd rather just go ahead and trust. I would, I, I would honestly try them out for you all and see, you know, what they could do and just, and see what happens with it. Oh, I mean, of course, I guess you really wouldn't know them for three to 10 years. So I guess still doing a thing with three to 10 years, I will see what happens. But, um, cause it's really whenever they sell, I did, I did hear an interview from one of their, I think their CEO recently, I'll see if I could find it again and put it down below, but he was basically saying that, um, it they they could sell they sell their art and give it back the money back to investors whenever they feel like the profits at the best um so if they feel like the arts you know went up 30 50 percent and they have a buyer for it they'll sell it right then and there if they don't have a buyer for it yet you know they might hold it longer for you know for a three to ten year time span or whatever but it just really depends on when they have a good buyer for it they do always try to to get profit for their investors as soon as possible but art it the way it way art works it kind of you know it you hold it until it's ready to be sold at a good price. It's weird. They thing. have Basquiat on here, bro. This is yeah. wild. Yeah, like the like, hundred dollars. What the shares? Like, it's they have five shares, and the ask is twenty dollars, and they talk about the total mm -hmm. is a hundred. I just buy that and put it on the wall. Well, you can't put it on the wall. I, I know. Yeah, I know. You could buy you know, your I certificate. You could put your certificate on the wall. Like, I hey, want the certificate. certificate. I want the art. And buy the whole art. thing. 
I want the art. Um, yeah, for me, it's I I'm looking at this as an investment, but I'm also saying I want the piece to put on my wall. Yeah. Um, I just recently got into purchasing artwork and not even like artwork that you think of. There is there are some very talented people out here in these streets. And um, I've talked to them and I've gotten several custom pieces made. Um, and this is what they want to do with their life's work. Cool. That means that if I'm getting in here early and often I have a one of one that, you know, is customized for me that I'm like, yeah, I had this made by this person. And if they get big, cool. If not, I have a custom piece that, you know, is big enough for me to put on my wall. I literally have two pieces being made right now. Um, and that's that's what I feel is a good way to to start an artwork one because I'm not spending a ton of money two because it's completely custom so I know that I'm going to like it and three because it's all risk no I mean low risk at yeah. the end of the day I'm no matter what I'm gonna love, yeah. you're not really trying to make like money it. off of it and but it, if they happen to blow up now I got you know what I'm saying I got in early 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 yep. um that's is- artwork for me so Roman, yeah. I'm sure that you know a bunch of artists. I mean, going to schools like Columbia and stuff, there are always artists around. Yeah, like I have quite a few, like even just art pieces around my room that just friends have like done for me and portraits and things like that. And everywhere, every time I travel somewhere, I try to usually pick up some type of art somewhere. So it, it's, and I, I should actually, I uh, no artist I know at this moment has like blown up at the point where they're like their own, like a, uh, kind of gallery page i've seen a few of them have like you know instagram fame and things like that with their own digital artwork but i haven't seen anyone like on this level yet selling like million dollar pieces um but that's a uh as art as an investment i am interested to actually see it kind of more or less do more have more people kind of get into it um it, it is it is more difficult i would say it is a lot more complicated i would maybe more complicated in the stock market at some point just to go to a gallery and just spend whatever, hundred grand right then and there on a piece of artwork that you may not even know. You, you need to do your research, at least have an expert with you. It's definitely a whole different field of research and knowledge. So I wouldn't say just go out there and start buying a random piece of art without knowing how much they are, how much they're even worth, unless you just like it. Of course, if you just like the art, you see it, you're like, you know, it's a beautiful piece of artwork. I just want to put it in my home. Cool. Get it. Um, and one day, you know, it might end up being worth some change. So um, for Masterworks, you said that you needed, what is this whole invitation situation? Yes. Yeah, so invitation, and then they, you schedule an interview. I'm actually supposed to have my interview with them today in a few minutes or like a, like a, about an hour or so. And they call you, put something in for about a, 30 minutes. Uh, they didn't call for like 30 minutes, but they want you, they want you to know, they kind of basically teach you about the art market a little bit, let you know what the expectations are, let you know what's going on, teach you about the process. So that way you're not confused about why you give them your money and why you can't get it right back instantly. Cause of course it's, it's art. You're not going to, you, it's not, it's not that liquid. It won't be liquid until they sell the artwork. So you give them a thousand dollars. You won't see that thousand bucks until the, the money or until that art piece is sold again, or you could, there is a way to get out earlier um, on that trading platform. You could post like me, myself, let's say I buy five shares of Picasso. And I'm like, in about a year, I'm like, uh, I kind of want that money back. I don't want to sit on it too much. I could post my shares on their trading board. And if you buy them, um, then you now own my shares and I'm out. But that's only if, you know, you buy them off that off the uh, platform there. So it, you, there is ways to kind of get out of it quicker. But normally they just want you to know and be prepared that, you know, you get into this investment world. That's how it works. Same deal even with um, I have... Well, I have looked at like Fundrise and Diversify Fund and those other crowdsource funds, similar like that, where they're going to let you know, like, hey, your money's locked in here for six months to five years or whatever, and you want to be able to get it out without a fee within that time, kind of like a CD and things like that. You put your money in there, it's locked for a certain amount of time. Yeah, yeah. Um, I like it. I like the idea that before you can actually start trading on anything that you have to have some some knowledge going into that i'm a fan of that um you'll have to let me know how that goes Mm -hmm. at the end of the day so i don't know if i would do this per se um i want art that i can actually put on my wall right now so in terms of artwork for me i have to be able to see it i hate this wall but this is my office one of three offices that i'm in 
so I don't have enough artwork to decorate them all. Um, but once I move into my home office, it will be decorated. Y'all will see some of the artwork that uh, that I rock with. Um, but that's what I want. I want a ton of artwork on my wall. Yeah, that too. Um, this came from. <laughs> I, was, I was like, "Where is where is this coming from?" I'm looking at artwork right now because now I want I want stuff. Now he's like, "I want um, some pieces." So uh, I do. It could it could be some I don't know if art is investment is interesting. I would not say for our beginning investors, of course, not working into it. It is something that after NFTs and things like that, it it got my mind kind of sparked back again with it. And I have I have looked tried to find you know artwork I could invest in. It wasn't just like a new artist that I knew that kind of already had value as a real investment in that sense. And Masterworks were only coming to see that kind of were doing it. Um, my myself have not, of course, tried it. So until I actually get some type of foot in the door, I'll let you know how that goes. Of course, I won't see any returns probably on it for for a couple of years if I do do it. So it'll be a while before you all know anything about it. But a little intro just to let you all know that art can be a good investment. It's a way to get into it or even collectibles. Um, collectibles in some ways are considered art for most people. So that's, you know, pest dispensers, Pokemon cards, baseball cards. That is considered Pez collectible art. Are wild. Yeah, those uh, beanie babies for a while, you know, those yeah. went, those still go crazy. There's a whole bunch of niche art collectibles that will go for crazy amounts of money. And those are taxed in a whole different, different world of light, which and we'll talk about that at one different video about taxing your collectibles and art and things like that. But yeah, Yo, guys. Uh, it's a fire, bro. <laughs> Yo, I'm looking at these Jason Pollocks now, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. Trying to slide on one of these. All right, I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> Guys, I would hope that this video has been informative for you all. At least get your mind maybe thinking about other different types of investment that you also can start making. Art could be great, especially if you know how to even start picking. Even if you start just looking at. Everyone knows like the Picassos and the Mozart's and the Basquiat's, but if you could find like a growing artist, Did you with say a, Mozart. Oh, oh yeah, I just said Mozart. I'm just thinking about classic artists in general now. Oh gosh. Yeah, I want that young Mozart painting. That oil painting. I mean, painting. if there's like a Mozart portrait, that's like, you know, that's probably going for some change somewhere. Oh, um, tangent. Maybe I just don't know who it's a real artist anymore. Eh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think that that's going to effectively wrap it up for us today, guys. Um, buy art. If you know what you're doing, yeah, or um, even buy art from your local artists, even now and again, you know. I know yeah, we we've, we've had a few yeah. artists. We were supposed to hear. I've had a few artists on the on this channel already. Hook them up. You see an artist you like, buy some art. It's good to have those custom art because it also gives you a story in your home, and you never know. And the customization means that you can pick a lot of different things. Now I'm gonna get on yeah, your customization. I pick a lot of custom things. Like I was like, this is what I want, but I want the background to look like this. And I want the background to oh, be yeah. in black and white, but I want the foreground to be in um, vivid colored. Like I want this, yeah. I want color pencil instead of paint, blah, blah, blah. Like all these different things that you can really control. Yep. Um, if the artist is like, I'll make whatever you want if you're willing to pay for it kind of situation. Yep. I was like, cool. Oh, this Here for guess, it. Actually, I guess I could. Can I reach this one without messing anything up? Uh, 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 like I got this one done originally by like an artist here. She got fire right over here, and you know I have a couple. Actually, I have a few of these ladies around my house that like she did for me. Um, and that's just like one of her specialties. Um, so just you know picking up like art pieces like that. Yeah, support the local community. I'm sure that they appreciate it. Mm -hmm. We right, guys, we, we love and, and appreciate y'all. Um, hit us up in the Discord if you want to know anything about this. Um, I will pro I'll probably end up posting in Discord, or maybe we'll just do like a little follow up talk in our next video about my Masterworks interview. If you all want to know about it, let us know in the description below. Um, comment, like, subscribe, share our videos with everyone that might want to give a little knowledge of anything. Um, thank you guys. We, as you already know, we may be young, we may be broke, but we are always investing. Peace. Till next time. Hey everybody, thank you for listening to Young Broken Investing. We just want to let you know that these are the opinions of the host. They're not meant to be the basis of any security purchases or investments. We're trying to give a little information out there for everybody and uh, have fun and be safe.